Let's go. And you will say, oh. Saturday, 27th March 2021. I hope you are enjoying your weekend. God bless you as you do it in the line and purpose of God. This is your life boy today that is packaged every day, including weekends, to get you anchored to the Word of God and to Jesus Christ our Savior, to show where dangers may be ahead of you, and to get you floating always in the waters of life. And we are discussing today still from our studies of the book of esther we are reading chapter 9 from verse 24 to the end and we are crossing over to chapter 10 straight away and reading up to the third verse of chapter 10 and all the lessons all the prayers are about the topic that we are selecting from the daily fountain the daily devotional guide of the church of nigeria anglican communion and that topic is a platform of change Let's quickly read. Because Haman, the son of Hamedetha the Agagites, the enemy of all the Jews, had devised against the Jews to destroy them, and had cast Paul, that is the Lord, to consume them and to destroy them. But when Esther came before the king, he commanded by letters that his wicked device, which he devised against the Jews, should return upon his own head, and that he and his sons should be hanged on the gallows. Wherefore they call these days Purim, after the name of Paul. Therefore, for all the words of this letter and of that which they had seen concerning this matter, and which had come unto them, the Jews ordained and took upon them and upon their seed and upon all such as joined themselves unto them, so it should not fail, that they will keep these two days according to their writing, and according to their appointed time every year, and that these days should be remembered and kept throughout every generation and every family and every province and every city, and that these days of Purim should not fall, fail from among the Jews, nor the memorial of them perish from their seed. Then Esther the queen, the daughter of Abihel and Mordecai the Jew, wrote with all authority to confirm this second letter of Purim. And he sent the letters unto all the Jews, to the hundred and twenty and seven provinces of the kingdom of Ahasuerus, with words of peace and truth, to confirm these days of Purim in their times appointed, according as Mordecai the Jew and Esther the queen had enjoined them, as they had decreed for themselves and for their seed the matters of the fasting and their cry. And the decree of Esther confirmed these matters of Purim, and it was written in the book. I go on to chapter 10 now from verse 1. And the king, Hyzerius, laid a tribute upon the land, and upon the isles of the sea, and all the acts of his power, and all of his might, and the declaration of the greatness of Mordecai, whereunto the king advanced him. Are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Media and Persia? For Mordecai, the Jew, was next unto the king Hazarius, and great amongst the Jews, and accepted of the multitude of his brethren, seeking the wealth of his people, and speaking peace to all his seed. That is what Mordecai did with the platform that he had in the king's court. And change is what 
Esther got for her people change from death to victory on account of the platform that she had being the queen in the king's court. Are you in the king's court? I'm always asking you this question because I wish I were one of those in the king's court today so that I would also be a platform of change. And you can ask me, because some of you that know me that know that, yes, perhaps in times past I've been in one king's court or another, and I dare say go and check the chronicles of the time that I served to the glory of God. I was a platform of change. And I dare say that if you are in the king's court today, you should be a platform of change. If you are a priest, you are a pastor, you should be a platform of change for the people. You are a captain of a few people. You are president of the students' union. You should be a platform of change. You are the head of the um, road transport workers of Nigeria or whatever. You should be a platform of change. And the change should be to get benefits for your people without limiting the benefits of other, others, without making life difficult for the others. Did you uh, see what was written or did you hear what was written concerning Mordecai? They said he was seeking the wealth of his people and speaking peace to all his seed. He offered himself as a platform of positive change. And that is what you should do. You should always offer yourself as a platform of positive change wherever you are. Are you just the class captain of a band of students? You should be a platform of change. You should make sure you go after the welfare of your colleagues always. And you should seek everywhere to make sure that whatever is written concerning your people is something that will make life more uh, uh, appreciable for them so that they will be a happier people. Can you imagine that what was written as far back as 500 years before Christ, that is if we calculate properly, that's about 2,500 years today that all these stories that we are reading about Mordecai and about Esther took place. And because they offered themselves as platforms of change, those books were written and the Jews have kept the Feast of Purim every year. Even this year, they kept the, the, the Feast of Purim 25th and 26th of February this year. That's for our own Gregorian calendar. But for them, those were the 14th and the 15th days of Ada. Let yourself also be a platform of change. You want to be a platform of change and you don't yet understand my language, then you need to come into the kingdom of the Lord Jesus, the court where you can also be a platform of change. Say this prayer quickly after me. I come to you today and I ask, O God of the heavens and the earth, that you should look upon me with mercy, knowing that I have not done those things that would please you in times past. I come before you today, accepting that you are Lord and Savior. I ask for forgiveness. I ask that you rewrite my story and write my name in the book of life, that I may be also one of those that will be platforms of positive change in my generation in Jesus' name. I pray for you that the Lord will accept you into the kingdom and you will begin to be amongst those that will be platforms of positive change to your generation in the mighty name of Jesus. But you have been in the kingdom and the courts of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords all along. You also need to say this prayer after me. Say, Dear Lord, help me today that I will always be able to follow you faithfully, that I will also be a platform of change, that I will be able to climb platforms of change and I will turn myself into a vessel of change unto my generation. Positive change. That the way history was written about some people 2,500 years ago of Mordecai and Esther, and even others after. Let history be written concerning me too, that I have been a vessel of change, positive change to my generation in Jesus' name. Go out today and seek every means to also get yourself onto a platform of change and be a vessel of change. And the Lord will change your story for the better, no matter how good your story is today already in Jesus' name. God bless you. Hey. When it doesn't feel like it 